there is nothing prettier than a camellia tree. You notice I said a camellia tree rather than a bush. I prefer instead of like a lot of people do is prune them back each year into big fat bushy can't see around and between them. I like to skirt up the bottom trunk as you can see here and make these look more specimen or tree like. Then ideally you can come in with a low under planting underneath here and the presentation and separation is really st stands out, doesn't it? Now, we can apply this same skirting up process to other ornamentals. Now, the same concept applies to citrus. This is a ruby red grapefruit. I love, but I want to make it a tree. A lot of times we see homeowners gnaw back and prune heavily their citrus trees Whereas with the clear trunk or the canopy, I can not only get in there and stand up to pick the fruit, but look at the size. You get more fruit, the bigger it is. Now I want to show you this magnolia tree. Can you see the prune marks up there? I took about six or seven feet off the top of this guy. And this is the third time I've pruned it. So instead of getting a tree that just crawls with apical dominance up and up and up, by tipping it back, you bring more concentration to the lateral buds, which is branching and gives it a fuller canopy. Now, as I step away, you take a look at, this doesn't look like your typical magnolia. I've skirted up the trunk, cleared it, but tipped it back to make a nice umbrella. Again, another perfect example of skirting up and seeing the underplanting applied to citrus, that little lemon tree. But I encourage you to experiment around a little bit with pruning, it's fun. You'll learn something. Tipping back does add to fullness of growth for trees, for plants, for shrubs. For In the Yard, I'm Gary Allen.